Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to the channel. So we are going into episode five of the 20 minute craft challenge that um, I have um, kind of joined in with Missy Journals to do. And don't forget, make sure you check in the description box because the link to her channel is in there. So today we're going to be making toppers and these can be for anything. They can be for envelopes that you put in a journal. They can just be, you know, things that you put on, on a journal page. It can go on the side of a page to be like a little tab for the journal. Um, there are so many different things that you can do with this. And this is just one that I made uh, to kind of show you guys what we were doing. And this is just a junk mail envelope that I had kept because it's got a really big pocket and I thought it was interesting. So anyway, we're going to move this one aside because I did this off camera and we're going to get going. And I talk a lot. We need to make sure I don't talk so much because it takes a lot of time. Um, and I kind of like this like mint color here. So, and I'm going to try to use the rest of this. Um, I don't have too, too much of it left, but I like that. I'm going to try to use what I can of it. Um, I think this was one of um, like a free gift with purchase. Um, because it's not something that I would normally buy, but it's actually really pretty. Ow. Hot glue is, well, hot. Just in case you guys didn't know that already. Whee! Alright. So there's that one. And I don't want to just fold it over because I still want to be able to open this up. Okay. So I'm going to cut this. I'm going to glue the back of this first. All right. There we go. And now I'm going to flip it over and glue the back. That way it's all matchy matchy. Now you don't have to do that. You can do, you know, just a corresponding back piece. Um, I think it's easier. I have it. It matches. It goes good. It goes well with each other. This color combination. The pink and the mint. That is such a great combination. I love that color. And I actually have a little flower that will go perfect with it. It's actually the flower that I used on this one, that mint colored one. Oh, let's seal. The reason that I glue the back of it is because it has got um, sequins sewn into the lace. So I don't want those sequins to fall off, go boom, when I cut this. So I glue the back of it. All right, open that up, make sure that it opens nicely. We could also use um, this one, because that would be pretty. I like that. Could use a pink. I don't think I want to put pink on pink on pink. Um, yeah, same thing. I don't think I want to do green on green on green. So we're going to put this down here. Let's put the flower on top. Try to center that up a little bit. All right. And voila. 
one. And these can, like I said, you could use these on journal covers, bag toppers. Uh, there's all kinds of things that you could do with this. Um, and you don't have to, you know, use just ribbons. You can extend them if you wanted to. Like, let's make this one a little bit bigger since this is a thin piece. So I think I used like six sheets of this excuse me, this paper, and I ended up with zero scraps because I folded every single piece in half. And when I did that, I created various sizes of these little topper guys. And that'll give me more variety to play with. All right, and we're almost done with this particular lace. I wonder if I can just cut this and then I'm probably going to regret this immediately. Okay, flip it over. Don't go anywhere, sequin. There we go. That wasn't so bad, it didn't go anywhere. Now this one I will glue because I'm not going to immediately use it. Alright, so the back. I'm just blowing it a little bit because what I do is I take my finger and I squish it down a little bit and kind of make it go over more area than just that one little dot where I glued. All right, and voila. Now let's see what else we got over here. Um, I could do a sticker, let's see, would that work? I don't know if that would work. I mean, Probably. Oh, I know what we could do. What we've been doing. Take our paper here and put the sticker there. And then put it on top of a doily here. Too big. Um, I ran out of doilies that were like the medium size on my table. Let me make sure I say that right. Because I definitely didn't run out of doilies. Hold on. Alright. Let's grab this one and oi. So it also helps when you're doing the crafts to be prepared and not have everything fall over and go boom. Uh, that is helpful, you know, not necessary, but helpful. Oh, this one's better. Yeah, that one's a lot better. All right, so let's do that. Um, eh, eh. you down there. Okay. Um, you by the way that little pokey tool yeah it's pretty awesome. Now we're going to glue the stamp sticker. I love these ladies. These lady stamp stickers are gorgeous. Uh, I do have them available in my shop uh, as of the day I'm recording this. Um, 
and I have a decent quantity, so you should still be able to get yours if you want it. Um, oh, look at that. That is so pretty. All right, and then put the whole kit and caboodle right there. Oh, that is so pretty. You know, I think I'm going to save that for a different one because I don't think it matches the lace. Um, but we can use a different element instead. Oh, this one says welcome. That's nice. Let's use that. Go back to our art photo glue here. And anytime you're putting a sticker on something that you want, that is so not straight. There we go. Anytime you're putting a sticker on something that you want to hold uh, its form, I would definitely, definitely use additional glue. Uh, art glitter glue is good. Any PVA glue is good. Um, sometimes a glue stick would be suffice, but if you're, especially if you're putting it on multiple textures, like I'm sitting here holding this down right now, waiting for this glue to set. I'm going to grab another piece of something to decorate. Uh, let's go with, let's go with this one. This one's some flowers uh, and see as you can see this is the top and this is how big the paper was but this is the top of the sheet uh, this is the paper pad that I'm using it is called fairy tale by recollections and it's six and a half by four and a half and um, I think I used like six sheets and ended up with a huge pile of these to um, to make into toppers and like I said, you can use them all over the place. What did I do with my lace? There it is. I was like, if I brought more lace over here, I knew I wanted to try to use with some of these stickers because I've got them out. They're here. Um, I need something to cover this hole. This is Fabri-Tac in this bottle. Oh, come on. Um, you can use seam binding here. This is just a silk ribbon. I found I have a ton of, like I have this huge roll of so I figured I would use it. I'm actually going to flip it over and use the matte side versus the shiny side. I'm going to pull it down just a little bit because I, was, I still want to be able to see the flowers. Don't pull it tight when you cut it because if you do, it'll skew um, the, the ribbon. I'm putting just a little bit of Fabri-Tac here on the edge because it will fray. You can also do anti-fray if you have it. I don't. I just use Fabri-Tac or some other glue. It doesn't have to be Fabri-Tac. Whatever you're using to glue your fabric to your paper. Just use that. A lot of people use, um, you know, just generalized PVA glue. It works, so use it. You don't have to, you know, go out and get the fancy stuff. I think Fabri-Tac is fancy. That's why I said that. All right. I'm just kind of lining it up with the back piece right there and getting Fabri-Tac all over my, my fingernails. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, all right. 
And now we have that, we can put our other lace down. So obviously this one, I'm not gonna be able to spit out quite so many um, in one sitting, but you can still do multiples in a short amount of time. It's not gonna take you hours and hours and hours, which is the generalized purpose of, you know, us trying to do these videos is trying to find what you can do in such a short amount of time because I don't know about you sometimes I don't have an hour to sit down and enjoy my craft sometimes I only have 10 20 minutes to you know do some some crafting why I decided to use my fingers I don't know I'm gonna peel that off while it's still wet Ah. All right, give me my plastic back. My Fabri-Tac plastic. There we go. And it doesn't have to be super complex either because it can be as simple as, you know, putting a piece of ribbon and lace on your, ta or on your tab. I honestly think that's probably what I'm gonna do with this one, just leave it. You know, leave it simple. All right. Actually, I'm going to do another one because I wanted to do one of these so I could use that. <laughs> but I, I really do like the look of this where it's just the um, the ribbon and the lace I really do like that look so I am going to do another one alright and what's our time at 17 minutes alright so let's see what we can do with that 17 minutes. We're gonna just go ahead and grab one here. Grab our ribbon here. Uh, I'm gonna dip the edge in the glue. And then down dip the edge and the glue this one I forgot to do the mat side down that's okay Down, trying to make that nice and squared up with the bottom piece so they're the same length. Okay. All right. Take our ribbon. And I'm doing it like this because I really don't like touching fabric tag. And then you can just open this up. Ah, there you go. There you go, just like that. All right, so let's get our, oh, I'm not gonna make it. I'll just do this one side so I can show you what it looks like, but don't think we're going to make it. I'm not going to finish this one. All right. Yep, there's 20 minutes. And this is what I get for 
for talking so much at the beginning. And you could also leave that blank if you wanted to. But we're going to flip this over, put some glue right here in the middle. And if you wanted to as well, you could uh, leave this part, the top part open. So you could staple this to a bag if you're using it for a bag topper. And I'll show you what I mean. You could flip this part up because you didn't glue right there and staple that. And then that way you can just put this right back on top. And there you go. If you're using it for a bag topper. Now, if you're using it for a journal topper, then obviously you wouldn't necessarily need to do that because you could just glue it to the page. Um, but anyway, that's it. That's what we did in 20 minutes. We've got one, two, three, and four done. Where's the third? I was, I was like, wait a minute. So we've got these two and these two. Hey, pretty. Like I said, they can be super simple or super complex. It doesn't matter. Your imagination is the key here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to hearing and seeing all the things that you guys are doing in 20 minutes. So thank you guys. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.